In this video, we are going to be covering variables, what they are, and how we use them. First of all, what exactly is a variable? A variable is simply something that can store information and can be referenced and manipulated. There are many different types of variables that a programmer can use. First of all is an int, or integer, which is simply as it sounds, a variable that can store an integer value. Secondly is a boolean. A boolean can store values of either true or false. This variable is very useful for conditional statements, which we will cover in a future video. The next two types of variables are floats and doubles. Both of these variable types are floating point data types which essentially means that these variables can store numbers with decimal places. Difference between the two is that a float can store numbers of precision up to 32-bit, while a double can store numbers with precision up to 64-bit. Essentially, a double can store more decimal places than a float. Next, we have strings. String variables can store a string of letters, which are just words and sentences. Strings are useful for displaying text and storing input information. Strings can also be concatenated together to form combinations of string variables and pre-written strings. This is very useful for outputting information in a readable format for the user. For example, imagine that we have a string called name. The code asks for an input and stores that string of text in a variable called name. To output this information to the user, rather than simply displaying their name, you can add the phrase your name is and make a new sentence by concatenating your name is plus the name variable plus a period. Finally, we have character variables. Character variables can each hold one character. This is useful when a program wants to read one button press or one character in a string without using a whole string variable. A specific example is making a game that is controlled by the keyboard. The program needs to recognize that a character is pressed and translate that specific character into carrying out some function. Now, why are variables so useful? Being able to store information in a format that can be easily referenced later is essential for any good program. Many times, the program will have to take input, which cannot be pre-programmed into the code, and thus a variable is required. A program may also rely on factors that will change as the program progresses, in which case a variable is once again required. Finally, taking these variables and manipulating them is quite necessary for carrying out many of the tasks you want a program to carry out, for instance, multiplying int variables or concatenating string variables. Next episode, we will be covering how we can manipulate variables. If you like this video, consider subscribing and check out the rest of the videos in the series in the playlist linked to the right. Thanks for watching.